Hey guys, what's up? This is Froggy2K9, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of Avengers. The new film that's just come out, it's um, about a week old now, but I went to see it yesterday, and I got to tell you, I've seen some of the reviews for it elsewhere, and I think all the reviews are absolutely right. You know, this film is amazing, and you should definitely see it. So just before I uh, continue here, my preview has actually frozen, so I can't see anything that's going on now. Um, anyway, this is more about the Avengers anyway. So first of all, for those that don't know, Marvel is Avengers. So Avengers is built around many Marvel characters. And I'm not too into comic books or Marvel or anything like that, so I'm... I'm not very knowledgeable on that. All I am knowledgeable on is the movies themselves. As for first of all, the the Hulk is the first thing you notice as a as a big difference. For first of all, the characters, uh, the character that plays the Hulk, he's uh, he's different. But uh, I've got to admit, the one that plays him now is a lot better than the one who played him in the actual movie Hulk. Um, I don't know names. I don't care about names. I don't care who actors are. You know, they can go shove it. If they play it right, good for them. If they don't, don't give a shit. So, anyway. Um, the best character in there is, um, is it, you know, I can't really, I can't really pick one out. Uh, for, for, uh, for starts, they, they all have a different, they all have a different overview. They all, they all work differently. Um, Captain America, for example, he's, um, it's great how he's stuck in the old days simply because he's from the old days, you know, frozen for, what, 80 years or 70 years? And uh, the, the mental effect that must have had, yet he punches through it so easily, you know, it, it doesn't even bother him. Well, it does, but it's more the wartime that bothers him, and that would bother anyone, you know, a lot of people have flashbacks of war. And uh, that's something you see in the beginning of the movie for him. He's uh, he has a lot of flashbacks. Um, you you get introduced to Iron Man quite early on as well, and uh, the Black Widow. Uh, you get introduced to her quite early on. Both characters, uh, one's very a generic spy sort of a sort of thing. You know, Black Widow is not very not very imaginative to be honest with you, I see a lot of spies, I've seen a lot of spy movies, I've read about a lot of spy books, you know, the, she's a very generic spy. Uh, Iron Man, now, that's that's pretty damn new, I haven't seen ma many of, you know, human sized robots that go around and kick ass, take names. Human sized robots, I mean, uh, you know, the, the way it's shaped, the way it looks, and the way he acts as well, you know, he's a, he's a prick, but he's a funny prick. And uh, he will go out of his way to help. The Hulk. Now the Hulk is incredible. It, he is so damn funny. He is he's like epic and funny at the same time. And he's dangerous. And it, it all equals. You know from this actor as well. This actor just plays him so well. Especially when you find out his secret. You know I'm not going to lie. This will contain spoilers. So I will tell you what the secret is. Um. Then you get introduced to Loki and uh, Thor, two demigods or semigods, whichever way you would like to call it. Basically, they're a demigod or a semigod. It's like a half god. They're not, they're not immortal, but they're close to it. You know, they, they're extremely strong, fast, powerful. They have, they have these weird ass powers, but they accept them as science and magic are the same thing. Now, if you've actually watched Thor, you'll know what I mean by that. So they do. They they accept science and magic as the same thing. Is it really? Don't know. Magic is science we don't understand. So there we go. That's uh, that's that. Anyway, how they work together is extremely good. You know, they um, first of all they start off by not working together well at all. They're fighting. They're uh, they're constantly against each other, and they're out to prove each other's. E they're all the best instead of working together to prove that the team is the best which uh, which causes huge issues early on like um like uh or when they're all standing around and they eventually um they eventually end up uh, pissing the hulk off or 
actually he he loses his ability you know he loses his pissed off state and him calming down actually caused him to change or maybe the, the fact that he flew through a freaking window caused him to change but who can tell you know who can tell um uh primarily it was loki doing it yeah loki you ass he uh he kind of just stood in there and sort of punched out a few lines and that pissed everybody off you know he put everyone against him and uh, that that you know iron man he punches out so many one liners i'll say that lot you know it's just so good you know he puts out so many one liners as uh, he's standing there you want a drink and he's like so like, are you offering me stuff no i'm threatening you um, you know, begging for their life when harm. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm threatening you. And it's like, oh, it's so funny. It really is. The Avengers is just so damn funny. Uh, one of my favorite parts was, uh, well, three of my favorite parts actually had the Hulk in it. And, uh, one of those is, uh, Captain America is handing out jobs for them to do. He, he sends Thor to send the lightning to the hole. And um, he sends Iron Man to start spinning around the city, trying to keep keep everyone contained. And uh, he turns to the Hulk and says, "Hulk!" Hulk turns around, <laughs> and uh, Captain says, "Smash!" And this big ass cheesy grin that made me laugh so hard went on the Hulk's face. It was so funny, so so damn funny. Uh, the next one was. Hulk and Thor were fighting in a station, and uh, they were beating. They were beating the crap. They weren't beating each other. They were having a fight with with these uh, aliens, and they were fighting. They were beating the crap out of them. And then once they'd finished, they were standing there for a few seconds, uh, huffing and puffing. And then the Hulk just sort of smashes the uh, sort of smashes Thor, just like sort of like nudges him on the shoulder. But he ends up nudging him so hard, just punches him to the side. It's so funny. Oh, and then uh, the last one was when he's um, they're up in the top of the Stark Tower, and the Hulk is standing there, and he just uh, he, he's just sort of sitting there looking at Loki, and then Loki says, "I am a god, yeah, you know, I am above you," and then uh, the Hulk just sort of grabs him and then smashes him around like some rag doll, just completely obliterating him, and then throws him at the floor, and then uh, you know Loki's just like. Shit. And then the Hulk's just like, puny god. I'm just like, oh, that is so damn funny. Oh my god, you got owned. <laughs> oh, anyway, the Avengers. Something I definitely recommend you see. The Avengers was absolutely amazing. I loved every minute of it. Uh, there was never a dull moment. It never a dull moment. You was either laughing or kind of like, yeah, this is awesome, or, or shocked at, uh, at a certain point. Um, but yeah, something I definitely recommend you go and see. It's got a lot of action in it. It's uh, it, the storyline is really, really well built. The storyline really blends together well, especially seeming as they've come from other comics and other films. They've actually um, pulled them all together quite well. So you know they're. Uh, the Thor story, you know, the Hulk story, Captain America story. Captain America's story was actually built specifically for the Avengers, so um, that was kind of easier. The one that really, really is offset is is Iron Man because they had to they had to produce a second film to bring the storyline together with the Avengers. But even though they did that, it works really, really well, and I enjoyed the crap out of it. The film was so good, like so insanely good. Um. Uh. Do do do. Nothing more to say except epic, 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 and epic. Get your ass to the cinema and see this bitch. You know. That's uh. That's all I can say. So, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been Froggy Two K Nine, and uh, Avengers gets ten out of ten. Happy days.